All right, ladies. Hi, hi, hi. Good evening. Okay, I am waiting to see if anybody is here with us while we're live. So welcome, welcome, welcome to another edition of the Heritage Day for Scholars, a place or an event rather where we celebrate our heritage as Africans, you know, we celebrate our culture and all that there is to it. So welcome ladies, welcome. Hi, hi Thelma, hi Michelle. Okay, I can see that some ladies are here with us. So um, while we are waiting, okay, while we're waiting for more scholars to join, I would like us to use this opportunity to introduce ourselves in the comment section below. I know, I know that a majority of us are not new to this so i'm sure we know how it goes but because of uh, the sake of the new scholars that uh, will be joining us today i will tell us the format in which we have to introduce ourselves so um you introduce yourself by mentioning your name first where you are from the country you're from uh, your track and your cycle so i'll go first i'll introduce myself first okay so hello everyone good evening my name is Oralua agojo and i am the pro okay i am from nigeria okay <laughs> i am the program admin for cyber security and it support track okay so um ladies um i also want you to use the format you know your name the country you're from your track and your cycle please introduce yourself to us in the comment section and i will be reading it out okay hi welcome ladies hello lily bell all right so yeah why we are also doing that um i want us to know that it is okay you're free to take a screenshot of you know this program of your screen and um to post like you're free to take a screenshot and then post it on your social media platforms also you can tag shikud africa while posting you can use the following hashtags hashtag sca scholar and hashtag sca times grow with google that's gwg scholarship all right so it's will be put in the comment section below for you to um in case you're confused or you can't remember what i just said to just copy and use all right hello Kelfi with Matake from Botswana. She's saying hello. She's um in IT support cycle four. Hello, welcome, Kelfi. I'm uh, sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. Hello, Kainde. Please introduce introduce yourself by mentioning your full name, the country you're from, your um track and your cycle. All right, Michelle is also saying hi. Michelle Umwokedi. She's from Nigeria. Hello, sister. Um, she's in cybersecurity cycle four. All right, Lily Bell is also introducing herself. By and by, you will get to meet her um, during the course of this call. Okay, so Lily Bell is the community admin for data analytics and UX design track. <laughs> and she's also standing in for cybersecurity track. All right, so Adra, Adra Bemi is saying hi. Hi, Adra. She's from Nigeria and she's in digital marketing and e commerce cycle four. Rose is also saying hello. Hi, Rose. Rose is from Cameroon. Uh, she's mm, okay. She's in data anal analytics and she's in cycle five. Hi, Rose. Welcome. Welcome. It is nice to have you here. This is one of the first time as I mentioned earlier. All right, Fury um, is also saying hello. She's South African and she's in cybersecurity cycle five. Hello, ladies. Welcome, welcome. It is nice to have you here. We are glad to have you here. Um, our Precious is also saying hi. Precious is from Nigeria. Precious Egwin is from Nigeria. She's in product management cycle four. Hello, Precious. Serena is also saying hi. Serena from Uganda. She's in IT support cycle three. Hello, Serena. It is nice to have you here. Flora. Flora is from Port Harcourt and she okay um she's saying she's entry level full stack training okay all right um moving on oh grace grace okay kind of grace at the bio is from nigeria all right she's saying hello she's in digital marketing and e-commerce cycle five welcome grace it is nice to have you here trust me you're going to have an amazing time Telma, Telma today says, good evening, everyone. My name is Kunsuli Telma. I am from Nigeria. My track is IT support and I am in cycle three. Thank you. Oh, welcome, Telma. It is nice to have you here. Well, 
you are coming back again so well it's still nice to have you here welcome welcome all right ladies i am waiting to see more um of our introductions in the comment section so i can introduce us all right i do you pressure says hello she's from nigeria and she's in data analytics cycle five hi adeoye welcome it is nice to have you here i'm a two um says hi she's from like from nigeria and she's in project management cycle four hi okay welcome ladies welcome it is nice to have you here and for those who joined late i'm just going to quickly go through this again you are free to take a screenshot of your screen okay and post it on your social media platforms particularly twitter also while you do that tag sca tag she could africa that's at she could africa in full and also you can use the following hashtags sca scholar and hashtag sca xgwg scholarship all right ladies okay so um it's put in the comment section for you below okay for those who did not get what i said all right so um in case you you're just coming you're welcome welcome ladies so please introduce yourself in the comment section all right okay this is it's our first time oh congratulations congratulations on making it to uh the program and welcome 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 to your very first heritage day event i am sure you are going to have a splendid time i am going to learn more about the cultures in africa africa is really blessed mind you africa is really blessed with the variety of cultures tribes languages that we have you know so welcome ladies i'm still waiting for more introductions for those that are here with us all right so yeah, that is the hashtag you will use while you're posting on your social media platform. Okay, ladies. All right. So um, we okay. We are moving on to the next um phase in the program, and um, it's it's uh it's during this phase. So it's uh okay. We are going to introduce a hair. Yes, we're going to introduce the team that we are uh, celebrating or that we are uh, that is guiding us this evening so i will be passing the mic to my colleague Uluwa Shion, who is a, a community admin and she'll be handling the session all right ladies please jam your hands so let me see a little bit of excitement jam your hands for Uluwa Shion. our very own Uluwa Shion. welcome welcome it's nice to have you here can you hear me please yes hello all right good evening and hi ladies hi scholars thank you all for joining this amazing session and um i really hope that you get to enjoy this particular edition of um this month's edition of the heritage day and um just like the way uh, my colleague already stated earlier that um this is another edition and I know that um, we have um, scholars, I mean, from cycle one, cycle two, cycle three, that have joined um, the previous sessions we've had in time past, where we had to celebrate um, the African culture in terms of the languages, I mean, sorry, in terms of um, the dressing and also in terms of the food. But this particular time around, we are looking at um, another, another path where we get to celebrate African culture though. But this particular time, we are going to be looking at um, celebrating African culture through languages. And um, I want you all to sit back and make sure your bio, your paper, your pencils are also with you because you and I will be learning a lot this time around. And I mean, from the previous editions we've had, I've, I got to learn about um, different African culture in terms of the food and also in terms of um, our dressing. So I know that this particular session you get to enjoy and you also get to learn a lot, even from um, the um, quiz section to other activities that we have lined up. So I want you all to just sit back and ensure that you actively engage 
on the live comments and also um, ensure that um, you are already, your, your aunts are ready to participate in the quizzes and also the other activities that we have lined up. So just sit back, like I said, and enjoy this particular session. So I would like to hand over the mic to my other colleague who would be taking us on to the next activity that we have right now, which is the live quiz. So join me as I welcome Trust, uh, my other colleague, as we go through the next phase of this particular activity. I trust, um, confirm you can hear me. Hi, Shun. Thank you so much. Yes, I can hear you. Hi, ladies. Welcome to another session. Yeah, as usual, I um, trust um, the program admin uh, for the UX design track and the data analytics track. And this session, I will be anchoring with Lily Bell, my community admin. So nice to meet you all, ladies. And I'm sure you are going to have a whole lot of fun in this session. Um, before we go right into it, right, this session is all about how well you know about the African culture. So I'd like to um, give you an orientation or state out some house rules that will make this uh, particular session fun for you ladies. So first off, you need to have a stable network. All right, this live quiz is going to be very fast and we'll be having a question for 30 seconds, all right? So you have 30 seconds to answer each of the questions that are going to be posed out to you. So it is a fastest finger situation here, all right? So please make sure you are where you have a stable network. So we don't have a repeat of the last quiz we have. Okay, have a stable network. Make sure you are and you are ready to answer the questions very, very fast. So each question is for 30 seconds. So ladies, I'd like to see your emojis. Let's know if you are ready for the session. So that, let's see your emoji. If you are ready, say, I am ready. Um, you can also send in an emoji, a fire emoji, anything. Let's know how ready you are before we begin this quiz. All right, I can see some, some ladies are just coming up and some are ready. Okay, um, Lady Bell, I'll hand over the mic to you so we can start off the, this next session. Okay. okay. Hello, ladies. I'm sure most of you know me by now. For the new Cycle 5 scholars, my name is Lily Bell. I'm the community admin for UX design and data analytics track, currently standing in for the cyber security track. So now let's get into the quiz. I hope you're all ready. Yo. I hope you're all ready. I can see Kaban here saying that she's ready. Um, okay, let's go into the first question. Okay, this says it takes a village to raise a child. The proverb it takes a village to raise a child reflects a strong sense of what? A, individualism, B, competition, C, community, and D, isolation. What is the answer? Remember, you have 30 seconds for this. Hi, Trust. What do yes, you think the answer yes, is? Uh, I don't want to give it out, uh, give it out, but I can see the uh, answers are already coming in. And the first person here okay. to even drop an answer is Rita. Rita says, Rita says that her says, answer is C. Hi, Lily, are you there? Yes, I'm here. So let's okay. find out what the answer is. Oh, wow. Yeah. And <laughs> that's nice. Uh, honestly, it takes a community to actually raise a child. So the first person that got that was Rita. Please, let's put our hands together for her. She did so well. Congratulations, Rita, for, you know, yeah. the floor. <laughs> okay, next question, please. Most African languages use the Latin alphabet for writing. True or false? Hmm. True or false? The Latin. I can see okay. someone saying. Okay. Okay. Teresa um, says true. Um, Obom Sinochi says B. False. Piri says hmm. true. I can see so many trues. 
Hmm. Are you sure? Olivella, are you sure? I think we should check the answer. I'm so eager to know what, what the answer is. I'm not even sure that I know I know what the answer is right now. Okay, let's see what the answer is then. Okay. False. Oh, false. Ah, First person to get it. modest. Yes, <laughs> yes. Congratulations to Gomsinachi. Wonderful. You got Wonderful. the answer. So we have Rita and Ugam Snatchin now on the leaderboard. Okay, let's see yes. what the next person is. Which of these is not a traditional way of showing respect to elders in some African cultures? Hmm. A, bowing your head. B, okay. using a term of endearment. C, raising your voice while, your voice while speaking. And D, offering them your seat. Okay, I can see Ajawo Oindamala saying C. Rita says mm -hmm. C. Mm -hmm. Well, everyone is going strong on C. I, I think I, 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 like, this is like this is like a bonus. This is like a bonus question because you all know what the answer is right here. Yes, now especially if you're from an African home. <laughs> okay let's see the answer though let's let's be sure that we know what we know <laughs> raising your voice while speaking you can't even try it eh ah. <laughs> they'll just the, give you the side the, eye like what <laughs> the slippers will take over so the person that got this first is ajao ajao congratulations you just joined the leaderboard Okay, let's go and move on to the next question, please. Some okay. African languages have noun classes that group words based on characteristics. This is similar to how some languages categorize words as dash. Masculine and feminine, singular or plural, adjectives or verbs, D, A, and B. Okay. Mm. Ajao this says one is the a, is D. Hmm. This one is a tough one. Okay. Uh, I think uh, Amato is answering another question. She's saying false. That should be for the previous one. Or oh. is it this? So we can see the answer here already. A hmm. and B. So which means it is masculine and feminine and also singular and plural. Okay. okay. Let's go to the next question. Oh, Ajao got that. Congratulations, Ajao. The word Simba meaning lion comes from which African language? Hmm. Oh, this one is a tough Sosa. one. B, Sosa, C, Swahili, and D, Amharic. Oluwa, mm. Oluwa Lobumi says A. Ajao in the molasses is B. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Everybody saying B. Adoye pressure said C. Okay. 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 Let's see what the answer is. Everybody saying B. So we're saying C. Um. Let's see. Okay, the answer. Ooh, the answer is Swahili. Swahili. If you speak Swahili here and you do not get it there. So the first person to get it was Adeoye Precious. Congratulations. Wow, congratulations, Adeoye. <laughs> you must be from the Swahili side because nobody knows that Simba. <laughs> All right, well done. Congratulations. Okay, let's move on to the next question, please. Greetings and rituals used to honor ancestors are a common practice in many African cultures. True or false? Mm. Wow. Greetings and rituals used to honor ancestors are a common practice in many African cultures. Okay, I can see Rita. Uh, Rita says, this is not a bonus question. <laughs> Okay. 
Rita says A. Okay, everybody saying A. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I think we should reveal the answer now. Because it seems they are so sure of their answers. Okay, the answer is true. So everybody got the answer. That's nice. Wow, and Rita got it first. Congratulations, cool. Rita. <laughs> Maybe say people are really fast to chai. <laughs> that's part of that's part of the rules. You need to be make sure that you you are fast in answering the question. Congratulations, Rita. Congratulations. Hey. Some coming of age ceremonies in Africa involve specific greetings or ch challenges. What might be a requirement in one culture? Hmm. hmm. What's let's see? Um Ajao said B. Everybody saying B. Hmm. Wow. So you're saying it's completing a physical task. Okay. Let's see what the answer is. Oh, so you're all right. That's correct. Cool. Congratulations, Congratulations, everyone. Congratulations. Yes, it is Ajao Oyindamola. Congratulations, Ajao. Wow, well, you let's have me. Yeah, we'll move on to I the next round. Africa boasts over how many languages? Is it 200, 500, mm. 1,000, or 2,000? They are the language lovers. Africa boasts of over how many languages? Let's tell us. Tamene says is C. Ulua Lobumi says D. Ajao says D. Hmm. Teresa says 500. Okay. It says D. But let's find out what the answer is. Most people are going for D or 500. Mm -hmm. They're trying to be in the middle. But let's see. That's 2,000. Wow. I think I've 2,000 languages. Congratulations, Oluwa Lopumi. You are the first person that got it correctly. Okay. Technology like translation apps poses a threat to the definition of African languages. True or false? What do you think about this? First? This is like an open ended question. But like, should what start, do you think? Should we start with AI? <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's like a debate kind of thing. Are you yeah. okay? Uh, I would say technology plays a role, but let's 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 hear from the ladies to see if they agree to this or not. Because everybody is saying they are it's it's B. False, yeah. Uh, it's false. Mm. Are you sure? Because everything has gone to the right way. Okay. Those not and Tessa said it's true, but let's see where it is. All right. False. I mean, yes, actually, it's false. It should be false because I think it just helps, you know, with expansion and with the spread of languages. But yeah. Okay. Mm. Let's move on. Let's move on. This is for another day. <laughs> yeah, but we'll first of all say congratulations to a uh, Beth Sellot. She's the one that got it first. Congratulations, yes, congratulations to you. Uh, okay, welcome now, to the leaderboard. The final question is how many languages do you speak? Share mm. your answers in the chat. Should I start? Yes. How many languages do you speak first? Uh, I fluently. speak two, two fluently, actually. Two languages fluently. I'm proud of myself. Oh, Which I one? see. I, see uh, I speak English. English is a language. 
<laughs> yes, and I speak Igbo fluently. I speak Igbo, which is a language in Nigeria, one of the top languages in Nigeria. So I speak both of them fluently, and I can sell you and collect change in Why the language. Why would languages. you want to sell me trust your own life? This is this is human trafficking. No, no, it's a term in Nigeria that means that I know what I am saying. It's not that I'm oh. literally selling you. Yes, that's what I mean. Uh, and I can I see, see my my I can see my 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 um members that also speak two languages. Oh, the Igbo people, mama no, mama no, ndewo. <laughs> well, well. It, this was fun. This was so much fun. Well done, ladies. And I can see, let me read some um comments. Flora yeah. says she speaks three languages: English, Ibibio, and Dutch. That's really wow. nice. That's really nice. Wow. She, she says she speaks Igbo, English, and Spanish. Mm. Oh, Spanish! <laughs> I should come and take lessons. <laughs> Loyal Amechi says she speaks English, Igbo, and Yoruba. Oh, wow, nice. Oh, you just need Hausa to be a complete Nigerian. <laughs> yes, and um, Teresaya says she speaks English, Swahili, her mother tongue, and a bit of Spanish. Why are all of you speaking Spanish? What's happening? People cannot speak um, Icelandic or something. Well, they they actually are are doing so well. Okay. Um, Luyanda Mkize says she speaks English, Isi Zulu, and Isi Sosa. Wow, I've wow. not heard of those, but it must sounds nice. Roseman Jack says she speaks French, English, and Basa. Okay. Vasa, Thank you, everyone, Vasa, Vasa. for participating um we're going to move, move on to the next session so i'll be passing the mic now back to um Ore Oluwa and Oluwa Shion for the next session which is a guess the language game hmm all of you that can speak sosa all of you that can speak zulu let's see if you can guess the language and what country speaks the language here there are no options though so you are going to have to rack your brain so hard. Hello, um, Are you ready? Hi, Lily Bell. Of course, I'm never ready. Okay, so should we are you ready to begin? Or do you have any few words to say, you know, to encourage them? Well, I just want to, first of all, I congratulate those that did well, but well, congratulate everybody actually. Thank them for okay, I want to thank you guys for your cooperation. And um, well, it is another phase, it's another game that we're going to play. The rules remain the same except for like little changes. For example, in this particular session, um, each question will go for 40 seconds instead of 30. All right, I hope okay. you got that. So we have 40 seconds per question instead of 30, all right? And, well, we understand that sometimes network can be tricky and it causes delay on the ends of some scholars and we are sincerely sorry about that. But it is whoever appears first on our comment section at our end that will be declared the winner, all right? So fastest fingers, all right? So, um... Is, uh, the ones that remain the same is we expect to see the answers in the comment section below where we will read it out. All right. So, ladies, are we ready? <laughs> All right. To see, like, I want us, I want to see excitement. I want us to show that we are excited that we are ready. All right. So, please drop in your uh, emojis. Okay. Like, I want to see that you are here with the thunder. You are here with like you're bringing the A game. No, no jokes. No playing. <laughs> All right, Kate, I see you're already catching the energy. That's nice. All right, ladies, I'm expecting to see more energy than this. All right, there's only two ladies. Oh, do we just have only two ladies here? Three now at this point. Mom, aha, thank you. That's more like it. All right, so without further ado, we'll be going straight into the game. So, ladies, let's go. So, the game is Guess the Language what country speaks this language so you're not just going to mention the language but you will also mention 
the country that speaks it. All right. So here we go. What language is this? Baka Darana. All right. Good morning. It means good morning. What language? I'm waiting to see our ladies. Baka Darana. Please share your answers in the comment section. All right, ladies, I'm waiting. 40 seconds, please. Do not forget. All right, ladies, time is going. Okay, Flora says, sounds like Hausa. Are you sticking with that or you're guessing? Are you saying it's with your full chest or you're guessing? All right, ladies, 20 more seconds to go. Okay, this is Hausa. All right, Rita says Hausa. All right. Um, Oluwabumi says, is it Oluwabumi? Oluwabumi. All right, says Hausa. Okay. Okay. <laughs> MM. MM is okay. MM says Hausa, Nigeria. The first person to actually mention the country and the language is Adelia Precious with Hausa, Nigeria. Um, Zaini, Hausa, Nigeria. All right. So, okay. Um, yeah, 40 seconds. Um, wait, okay. It's already 40 seconds. Theresia says Hausa, Niger. Or oh, is it supposed to be Nigeria? Okay. I, would, I think it's safe to assume that it's Niger, you wrote here. Miriam, Miriam Imam says Hausa. All right, Mary Joma says Hausa. All right. Okay. All right. So yeah. Um the answer to that is Hausa Nigeria. And like I mentioned in the beginning, it's supposed to be language and country. While um Flora started with uh, the right answer, she didn't mention the country. And first person to actually mention the language and the country is Adelie Precious. So the crown of this particular question goes to Adelie Precious. Well done, girl. Congratulations. Welcome to the leaderboard. All right. So the next question is Saubona. I hope I am not butchering this. Saubona. It means hello. Okay. So ladies, I'm waiting for our answers. Saubona. All right, ladies, I'm waiting. Please, let's not forget that time is going. All right, Luyanda says, Izulu, South Africa. Okay. Quinnette says, Izulu, South Africa. Theresia says, South Africa. Okay. All right. All right, ladies. Okay. Zimbini Sweetie says, South Africa. is Izulu. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. All right, ladies, about 10 more seconds to go. All right, I'm not, the last uh, comment I'm seeing here is from Zimbini. Ladies, please, and we started with energy. Let's go relax. All right, ladies, I'm looking for more answers. All right, time's up. Okay, so uh, the crown of this uh, particular question goes to i would say luyanda she's the one who appeared first on at my end and it is zulu south africa let, let me ask this question before we move on is it zulu and zulu are they the same thing ladies where are my south african ladies in the in, uh, in the comment section is it zulu and zulu are they the same thing Ladies, are we here? Oh, Leander says yes. All right. Okay. So yes, Leander, the uh, um, crown of this particular question goes to Leander. I saw her answer first. Okay. So um, let's move on to the next question. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is Kony. Hey, okay. I really hope I'm not butchering. Apologies to those from this tribe Kony Rimbe, which means hello <laughs> it basically means hello <laughs> so Kony Ri if I'm to speak this if I'm to pronounce this with the Yoruba accent it should be Kony Ri 
rare something like that. well it basically means hello and um i'm expecting her answers ajao ida mola says yoruba nigeria <laughs> okay flora says yoruba nigeria adepoju says yoruba nigeria the thing is if this yoruba ah I need to go back to my roots because I'm a Yoruba lady and I cannot pronounce this. Salam says Yoruba Nigeria. Um, Mary Joma says, I feel it's the same thing, but different dialects. Oh, okay. Probably. Yeah, we do have a lot of dialects in Yoruba culture. All right. Um, okay. <laughs> the reader says, not going to lie. I can't even guess. <laughs> okay. Modesty says South Africa Zoo. Oh, probably for the last, last question. Mary Jama says Yoruba is a mini in Yoruba, Nigeria. All right. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> okay, time's up. And the answer is Yoruba, Nigeria. Wow. Wow. So, well, <laughs> without wasting much of our time, the winner of this particular question is Ajao Ondamola. You are a true Yoruba lady. Carry your crown. May the Lord help me and have mercy on me <laughs> on the other hand. Okay, let's move on to the next question. <laughs> okay. Uh uh, no, no, that one. Okay. Well, to the ladies that are quick, we're giving a little cheat. So, yeah, the uh, this is mandroa. Mandroa. Basically, it means hello. Wow. There are a lot of languages. This is what it means to speak in tongues. Because look at different tongues. And it's amazing it's amazing so yeah ladies i'm waiting for our answers mandro ah uh, hello who can guess what language it is Teresa says ah Teresa, yeah you are a you are a very quick lady i like what you did there she says madagascar but where is the language okay loyanda says malagasy madagascar i do your pressure says the same thing okay salam says the same thing Mada oh madagasy yeah Madagascar. All right, ladies. I'm just seeing three, okay, four, four persons who has tried to answer. All right, okay. Uh, um, maybe Joma Madagascar. How about the language? <laughs> there is a, I knew it. Ah, oh, smart lady. Please, your high five. <laughs> okay, so, um, I am waiting for more. Time is going. Remember, just 40 seconds. We have just 40 seconds. Who else wants to try four times up? <laughs> okay, so I think it's safe to move on to the answer now. Malagasy, Madagascar. All right, so the first person who got that uh, at my end is Luyanda. Hey, kudos to you all, um, to Luanda. Yeah, this is the second time your name is appearing, and but well, uh, you're doing well. You are definitely doing well. So yeah, <laughs> moving on to the next question. So yeah, Akamuti. Once again, please pardon me. Those of like this tribe have mercy. I am sorry if I am butchering your language but simply it means hello so yeah let's go once again ladies who can guess the language and the country where they speak this language akamuti hello all right ladies i'm waiting we can do this all right ladies i'm waiting okay <laughs> esther says kenya <laughs> well it's like we have some googlers in the house truly <laughs> flora says swahili kenya okay tamane says afan oromo ethiopia mm -hmm. okay so i i i'm sure you know why i did like this in case i'm wrong so afan oromo ethiopia okay this is uh the very first difference <laughs> this is the first uh one i'm saying that is different hmm 
okay i'm actually curious about this now who is going to is it going to be ethiopia is it going to be kenya because all right ladies i'm waiting 40 seconds so oh, time is going ladies all right ladies <laughs> okay mary says uh languages shade this world <laughs> are you choosing a camu as your language or what because at this point i've lost Leanna says show now all right please let's have the answer <laughs> most of us are curious here yeah. this one this one proved to be tough whoa I am sure Tamene is from Ethiopia, definitely. So yeah, the, there is no doubt about this. There is no argument. Only one person got it right in this particular session, and it is better lot. Tamene gets at you. Yes. All right. Congratulations. Welcome to the leaderboard, Tamene. <laughs> okay. So let's move on to the next question. It's definitely not Kenya. All right. So there's Jambo or Jambo or, uh, well, I'm sure there are different ways to pronounce it, but Jambo, meaning hello, our ladies in the room, let's go again. <laughs> All right, can we guess what language this is and what country you can find this language? Let's go, ladies. Jambo, Jambo, whichever, hello. I'm pretty sure if I speak one, it's not African, no, but there's one that's coming to mind that I am 100% sure at least half of the ladies here will get it. That will be my own personal quiz for everybody before I leave and hand over to the next person. All right, ladies, 40 seconds. So 10 seconds gone. You have 30 seconds left. All right, Luyana says Swahili in Kenya. Teresia says Swahili. Okay um all right just these two persons who else wants to try okay rita says kenya but what language i'm pretty sure swahili is not the only language in kenya although it might be the dominant one all right the minute is swahili kenya all right let's move into the next to the answer let's see if our ladies are correct okay Woo! you're right it's in this Swahili, Kenya. And the first person to get this on my end is Brianda. Uh -uh. Brianda, you really brought fire and thunder. Well done, ladies. <laughs> well done, ladies. I hope you're having fun. So without wasting much of our time, let's quickly move on to the next question. Oh, uh, uh, this is so simple. Okay, this one I can say to my full chest. Salam alaikum. Peace be unto you, ladies. Ladies. Ladies, our Muslim sisters in the house should not disappoint. I, 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 <laughs> I am waiting for us to... <laughs> uh, Esther has learned to one language. See, this, this is the beauty of things like this. She's already saying Jambo to my Kenya of the house. Jambo, everyone. Okay, I don't call Juro, okay, says Hausa, Nigeria. Adi your Pressure says Hausa, Nigeria. SIB says Hausa Fulani, Nigeria. Let me quickly say something before I read out the next comments. We do I, like do we know that Hausa is not only Nigeria? We also have it in neighboring African countries. But then let me go on. So you have um Hausa Nigeria by Loyal. Kain this says Arab. It is what it is. <laughs> Let's go on. Okay. Who else wants to try? Mary Joma says Hausa, K. M. M. Jackson, Hausa. All right, all right. We are supposed to try. Okay, ladies. Um, because of our time, we're going to move on to uh, the answer. All right. So, what's the answer? Can we have the answer? Arabic, North Africa. Actually, nobody got this. Well, we were too specific no that nobody got it we're just too specific so the answer is arabic i'm just going to give this to us as bonus because yeah uh the northern part of nigeria they also speak arabic because of their religion and also the muslims in other tribes and other 
part of um, the country of the nation of the continent also speaking so yeah this is going to be bonus to everybody now uh, moving on to the next question or is that the end moving on is there any other question for us all right okay i think this should be the last one oh okay oh okay um yeah actually esther tried in that she mentioned two different cultures where they speak um house uh, where they speak the language or well yeah she mentioned hausa and oh actually no 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 it's not esther it's grace grace mentioned arab so okay actually you know what we'll give this to you carry your crown and your applause so for that question uh kind of grace uh owned it now this one is uh okay this is another question for us moro moro well simply means hello i'm waiting for answers in the comment section and i have a feeling and that most of our ladies here we are going to google but well at least we're trying <laughs> Tamina says shona zimbabwe okay um okay any other person who wants to try uh grace monet is saying congratulations all right so for this particular question esther says egyptian okay what language because i'm sure egyptian is probably the country or all right ladies i'm waiting okay luyanda says shona or Ndebele, zimbabwe Miriam says swahili kenya okay all right so because of our time we're moving on to the answer can we see the answer because we've seen like three different things now we've seen zimbabwe shona we've seen swahili kenya we've seen egyptian all right can we have the answer please can we have the answer? Oh, it's shown as Zimbabwe. Okay. Uh, Tamene, this particular one goes to Tamene. Congratulations. Well done. All right, let's see. Let's see. Do we still have any other question? Okay. All right. <laughs> Teresa says, at this rate, I can only clap for you guys because, woo! <laughs> okay, so this is. Nanga deaf. Nanga deaf. So basically it means how are you? What language is this and what country can we find this? Nanga deaf. How are you? All right, ladies. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Because of time, it's <laughs> not it's not 40 seconds anymore. It's 20 at this point. All right, Esther says Fente Ghana. Hmm, this is nice. Okay, any other person who wants to try? Okay, Nonsebe Kuela says Ghana. Miriam. <laughs> Miriam says Arabic language, UAE. Is it for this particular question? Okay, Kati Nosh says Ghana. Luyanda says Wolof, West Africa. Okay. The minister's wall of Senegal. All right. Okay. All right, ladies. All right, time's up. Can we see the answer, please? Can we see the answer, please? We need to know who is right. None got deaf. This is definitely the first time I'm hearing <laughs> of this language. All right, please, the answer. Okay, Libu says Arabic. Theresia says Wolof, wo, or is that supposed to be Wolof, Senegal? Ooh, okay, and the answer is Wolof, Senegal. Because of specificity, the crown goes to Zimbini, sweetie. Zimbini wins uh, this. Um, particular question and then yeah our last question is umbolo ani 
All right, so it means hello. All right, ladies, one last time, just one last time. Let's go again. What language, what country? Mbolo Ani. What language, what country? It means hello. Our African ladies in the house, let's not get tired. Like the Yorubans, we say, Koni Suwa, Koni Rewa. That is, we will not get tired. Okay. Um, uh, okay. Teresa, I don't know if you are. Okay. Teresa says, Oh, Wolof. Okay. She's answering the previous question. Leanda says, Fang, Equatorial Guinea. Mm. All right. All right. Any other lady who wants to try? Any other lady in the house because of time? This is our last question before my personal one to you guys. All right, ladies. Okay. Tamina says, Nyanja, Malawi, and Zambia. Teresa says, Guinea. Okay. All right, ladies. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, ladies. We have about five seconds to go. One last comment before we move on to the answer. All right. Time's up. And the answer is Duala Cameroon. Actually, <laughs> nobody got this. But well, it's going to go as bonus to everybody. We tried. You guys did amazingly well. Now, for the final question, before I hand over, who can guess the language and the country of this? It's not African, so let's not carry our chest up. It is Ayaseo. Ayaseo. <laughs> I am expecting flooding of answers at this point. I'm supposed to be flooded with answers. And you see y'all. All right, yeah. <laughs> my Korean, my my ladies in the house who watch K dramas, Korea, yeah, yeah, it's definitely Korea. And with that, we've come to the end of this session. I had an amazing time. I hope you did too. Please let me see your emojis in the comment section, letting me know that you thoroughly enjoyed. The session we just finished so yeah without further ado i'll be handing over to my colleague Josiane, who is also a program admin and she will be taking the session the icebreaker session you know time to relax enough of the tension this one no scores no fastest fingers you are free to answer as you please so with that Josiane will be welcome on stage hi Josiane. hello welcome, welcome can you hear me thank you yeah i can you hear like you the mic is under the you. you have the floor thank you very much this was a great session i enjoyed it um as i already said my name is Josiane waneje i'm a program admin for e-commerce marketing and uh, project management i'm excited to see you all and your responses um for me, this past session was was very crucial because if it was like a test, I could have gotten like 0 0.5 out of 10. I only got like Arab and that was only the language um, and not the country. And so it gave me a lesson that I should go back to probably learning my um, fellow African um, languages. And so I'm very excited to take on this other session. Let me see your engagement in, in the comments. Um, can I have your hellos in your mother language, in any other language that you wish? Um, let me see your comments. Let me see your comments. You can say hello in your mother language and we see other other hellos that we did not get from this past session. Come on, ladies, I'm waiting for you. I only can see Zimbini and say, she's saying Molo, which I think it's, uh, means hello. And you can say um, you can say uh, which which language is that? I can say I can see Esther saying Tebra, Ijo language Nigeria. By the way, I'm Randis, so I speak Kinyaranda. For us, we say Bite, which is not info, which is informal for hello, or Miriwe, which is formal 
for hello. So it depends with the situation. If you're greeting um, elder people, you say Nidiwe. That is from Rwanda. I can see Libu saying uh, Molweni. I don't know if I'm also butchering these languages. Um, my accent might be terrible. I can even see uh, something written in Ethiopian um, language, but uh, unfortunately I can't read that. But uh, it's pronounced as Salam. Thank you, Besolot. This is amazing. We have different languages and this is um, in celebration of our culture and our languages. We see Epele, Yoruba, Nigeria. I don't know if I'm, I'm spelling this right. Yes, thank you very much for everyone that is responding. So to our today's icebreaker, it says, what African language fascinates you and why? So please feel free to share which language fascinates you. Why uh, does that, that language fascinate you? Is it because of the way it's written, the vocabulary, the proverbs, or just like the way it, it's pronounced, the, the, the cliques and, and everything in, in those um, languages? So um, I'm looking forward to your responses. So uh, while we are providing our responses, for me, uh, a language that interests me very much is uh, Xhosa. I don't know if I, I said that right, from South Africa. Um, I'm interested in their language because of the, the cliques in the, in the language, the, the, the accent they have, um, and also Lingala. Lingala because of the a lot of L. It sounds like it just sounds like a romantic language. Um, Kehinde, we have Kehinde in the comments. She's saying, I'm Nigerian. I love Igbo. I love Igbo language and their culture too. Um, the language sounds interesting when I hear it. All right. Um, I'm not so familiar with Igbo, but I also love Nigerian languages. They have a way of like being, um, I don't know, extroverted by nature. I love it. Yes. Um, yes, I'm waiting for more comments. Where are our other people from South Africa, from Kenya, from... Uh, everywhere. Yes, Theresia says all African languages are fascinating because you could say something as simple as hello, but in so many ways, it's beautiful, really. I, I agree with you, Theresia. And um, from the past uh, session that we, we had, we've seen that this is very true because you have like a lot of accents, a lot of language. So African languages overall, they're beautiful. Rita says, Yoruba language, I love how soft and nice it sounds. Yes. Um, we, were, we are waiting from two people to close this session. Please write in, in the inbox, African language that fascinates you, why it does. It can be their accent. It can be uh, anything from the language. Hey, ladies, I'm waiting for you. Are we still together? If we are, please write your Africa, like an African language that fascinates you. We have our answers from Teresha, from Rita, Keinde. We thank everyone that has been participating and uh, we are waiting to hear from others. Or you can also talk about a language that, that you think is hard uh, among African languages. The one that you think like you, you've tried to learn it, but there are some complications to it. It, might, it, might, it, it can be nouns, but for me, I know that um, coming from um, Rwanda, Kenya Rwanda is a, a, a bit complicated because you have like a, a lot of um, 
uh, syrups, if, if I can say, how it's written. It's really hard for people who are coming out of the, the, the culture to learn it. Um, but I promise you, it's very interesting. Um, we have uh, Fili Findile. Uh, she's saying, I love Swati language from Swaziland. It sounds so romantic. I'm not very familiar with that, but I, I'm, hey, I'm sure, as we said, all African languages are, are very fascinating. Um, yes, Besselot says, I love the accent of native English language speakers. Oh, do we have uh, those in, in, uh, in Africa, native ones? I didn't know that. Yes, yeah, so it's um, a lot of things to learn from from our our uh, African languages, and so thank you very much um, for everyone who participated. I'm going to hand over to my team member, uh, Lily Bell. Uh, she's going to be taking us to the next session of. Um, presentation to our um, representative from different um, countries or different cultures. Please, you can um, look forward to it. It will also be interesting. It will also be something to, to look forward to and to learn from. Are we still together, everyone? You can send your favorite emoji to see if we're still together. Anyone in the house? I can see Kehinde. Thank you, Kehinde, of been of um, participating, and we love to see that. And um, Rita, we have Rita in the house. We have um, Betelot. We have uh, Quella. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. We have Esther, Amen Jackson. Uh, he's, she's saying also Yoruba language fascinates me because of its gentle rhythm. Rhythm, I love that. Thank you, everyone who participated. Now um, I'm giving the mic to Lily Bell. Welcome, Lily Bell. Hi, thank you, Josiane. So um, for me. The African language that fascinates me is the Amharic language from Ethiopia. I think because of this, uh, it's very, very fascinating. And it's very, very similar to something the Igbos used to use very, very, very long ago. So I've, I've, mm. I've, I've forgotten what it's called in Igbo. But um, yeah, that's, that's my, um, that's the African language I, that fascinates me. Um, okay, so now we're going to be moving on to the community members' presentation. We'll be asking them a series of questions about their languages and the countries that they are from. If you remember, we asked some of you to, you know, volunteer on Slack. So up next, I'll be bringing Pamela onto the stage with me. Hi, Pamela. How are you doing? Hi, Lilibo. I'm fine. How are you? I'm very fine. Thank you. So what um, track are you on? Uh, are you in and your cycle, please? Um, I'm in the data analytics um, track in cycle two. Okay, um, welcome. So can you tell us a bit about the language you speak and where it is spoken, the country it is spoken in? Oh, my native language is Shona. I'm from Zimbabwe. It's one of the 16 official languages in Zimbabwe, but it's the main one. Like majority of the country uses Shona to speak. But I also happen to live in Bulawayo where we speak another language called Ndebele. So I speak the two main languages in my country. Okay. Um, thank you. That's 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 very um that's very intriguing. Um, how do you say hello in your language? In Shona, you can say moro or yesi, but that's like for informal speaking when you speak to your peers and stuff like that. And then when you speak to adults, you say makadi. Okay. Um, can you um, can you teach us how to pronounce it, like, like expatiate on it? 
Okay, so for the first one, that is moro. So it's moro, right? And then there is ma ka di. So those are the two greetings that you're going to encounter. Okay, awesome. Thank you very much. So do you have any fun or interesting words that that you say in your language that might sound very very, very surprising to us? Um. I don't know if they'll sound surprising, but these are just like my two favorite words in Shona. There is okay. the first one, which is maitabasa. Maitabasa directly translates to you have done a job, but it's used as a way of saying thank you to someone, right? And oh. then my other word is simba, right? I heard I saw somewhere in the presentation where they say Simba in Swahili, but in Shona it's Simba, which means strength. Wow, it's, it sounds very, very similar to the Simba in um, Swahili, which means lion. And we know how strong the lion can be. That's, that's very interesting. So um, is there a special saying or proverb in your language that reflects your culture's values? Well, um, I think the Shona people are uh, a group of people that respect like adults in society. So one of the sayings that I could use to reflect that is called Ndamba Kuzwa Akaone Kwanembonje Pauma. This directly translates to the one who refuses to be told is seen with like a scar or a bruise on the forehead right which okay. is basically a warning where they're telling you that if you refuse to listen to advice if you refuse to listen to caution you will be seen by your scars in the future that's 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 amazing that's really amazing um so <laughs> what are some challenges that you say um, african languages face today i think the main issue we've had with African languages, I speak for Zimbabwe, it's the idea that people think that the English language is superior. So people should invest more in only learning English and forgetting their um, native languages. So much so that in some schools, like those first class schools where people pay a lot, people can even fail to communicate in their native languages. And I think that's such a shame because our languages are rich and they have a lot of um, stuff that they could teach us that is not properly translated in when spoken in English. Okay, that's, that's really amazing. So one final question for you. What makes your language special to you, to you personally? What makes your language very special to you? I think what makes the language special is how much it can be used to communicate and to give advice without seeming too harsh. You know, in 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 the language, right? Like I was saying that they would just say, ah, if you refuse to be told, you'll be seen by the scar on your forehead. But that's a saying that is used to speak of greater things. Like, you know, you could literally end up dead, contracting diseases and stuff like that, right? But it's said in a way that is more building, in a way that doesn't seem too harsh. And I love that about it. Okay, thank you very much for joining us today. Pamela, and thank you very much for volunteering. So, um, have a lovely evening. Um, okay, um, coming up on the stage okay. next is Lucky Sicolia. Hi, Lucky, are you ready? Um, also, while we are waiting for Lucky, you can tell us in the comment section what you loved about this this first session that we just had. What did you think about the saying that if you refuse to listen to your elders, you're going to see the scars on your forehead? What do you think about it? Please um, just encourage us and share your fellow scholars in the comment section. Hi, Lucky, how are you doing? Hi, I'm fine, thank you, how are you? I'm doing very well. So um, um, what track are you in and what cycle? Okay, so I'm in cycle one, UX UI design. Yeah, okay, that's amazing. So can you tell
tell us about the language they're going to be speaking to us today and they're going to be teaching us about and what country it is spoken in. Okay, so the language and focus on today is Swahili and it's majorly spoken within the Eastern Africa community. So Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, Mozambique, Congo, Rwanda, Burundi, yeah, and the Central African okay. Republic. Okay, that's amazing. So how do you yeah. say hello in your language and can you teach us how to pronounce it? Yeah, um, okay, so there are a lot of ways you can say hello, but for most, what I hear most people saying is uh, jumbo, like jumbo, that you will hear that a lot with tourists. For locals, you just hear something basic like sasa, like sasa, just S A S A. It's very general, non formal. It's just how are you? How are you doing? Yeah. Okay, um, thank you very much, um, Lucky. So, do you have any fun or interesting words in your language that might sound surprising to others? Okay, yeah, I'd say when it comes to Swahili, because it it evolves a lot. Uh, there's no shell. That's a a branch of Swahili that was just molded. So, and there's a word called ikonini. So, it just it's like asking somebody, so what's up? What about what about what you're saying? So, you just tell somebody ikonini. What's up? What's up with the situation? I think that's uh, it just uh, I find I find it interesting personally. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. So um is there a special saying or a proverb that is in your language that reflects your culture's values? Okay, um yeah. I feel like uh, Africans share a lot of cultural beliefs. So this particular saying is who is Kumagariako? Sorry, who is it from Agarimbovu? So that translates to you can't really drive a, a broken car when you're in it. It's supposed to kind of teach you that if you really want to go far in anything that you're doing, you need to involve the community that's around you to support you so that you can move further along. You can't think of it like a car. You can't really drive a broken car on your own, but you need a mechanic to help you fix your car to move it forward. You need the guys who fuel your car to help you move forward. Yeah. Okay, um, I think I uh, I can just continue because uh, I had uh, some of the questions. So uh, the next question was, uh, okay, so the next question was, uh, I'd want to talk about how our languages are, sorry, I want to talk about the challenges facing African countries today. Of African languages today. So I feel like um, I can speak for Kenya as a country is we have very many languages outside of Kiswahili and English. 
but Kiswahili and English are our main, our main, are our main national languages. And you find a lot of people can't speak English, but they can't speak Kiswahili. And it's because most people don't get the opportunity to grow the language after they have left school. So when you've done your eight years of school and you've done the uh, building blocks of the language, the foundations, you have very little material for adults, very little shows, very little movies, a lot of songs, but those are in Sheng. So I feel like if we were to make progress over time, was we need to put more effort into making sure that there's a lot of literature, entertainment, movies, books, songs. We need to host a lot of events in Israel instead of English. That that way we can say that we are really promoting our language to our people and we can also have people in our neighboring countries. Like we can also, you know, go to Tanzania, speak Israeli in Tanzania instead of trying to speak English. But I think it's something we can really achieve over time. Um, the other question I had was, how can we celebrate the beauty and the diversity of African languages? I think African languages are beautiful. And um, for a lot of historians out there, because I'm a historian, there's a way a lot of languages are connected. Most people to the south of the African continent are Bantus, but they happen to be Bantus. So all their language, all their communications would sound similar to one another. So I, for one, can say I can, to some degree, understand when that South African is speaking in Zulu, because my mother tongue sounds a bit like Zulu. They share some Okay, okay, and they share they share a lot of similarities. So when we're coming to celebrate the diversity of African languages, let's all encourage people to learn. Like I'd love it if I was in Nairobi and I could learn about um Ghanaian, you know, like one of the languages that are being spoken in Ghana. I'd love to be able to learn that from Nairobi, but if I go online, I would be able to find that. So I think we need to prioritize that of education of other languages and the history of these languages to other people. And uh Okay, I'm saying somebody said that I should tell them about Kofinish Kumalo. I'm so sorry, but I don't know what that means. But um, I'm seeing that the, the community admin might be here. So I want to hand over the session to her because I'm finished. But um, I think whoever suggested it in the comments can really just tell everyone what Kofinish Kumalo is. I really don't know. But yeah, it's been an engaging session, by the way. Yeah. Oh, um, okay. As we wait for our community admin, I'm seeing somebody in the comments saying, um, is it hard? No, I don't think so. It is hard, actually. Um, I feel like if if uh, you're a Bantu, Kisaili would be really easy to pick up. I think maybe people who have, have more Kushaitic Kush languages might find it as a challenge, but like with every other challenge, you know, it's it's something that you have to put in effort and practice and with time you'll be able to understand it. Yeah. So it's not it's not hard to learn. Um can you tell us about the writing of Kisoili? I think um Kisoili, you you write it as you speak it. Uh, if you can see like there are very few words that change according to how you write it, um, compared to like English or maybe French. But it does follow the the normal rules of any language and subject and verb and uh, an object agreement. So writing it, it's it's not so different. Yeah, it's it's 
and it just it just uh it's it's according to how you speak really it, it, it doesn't it's not like uh arabic that looks different when you're writing it no. it just looks like english a bit weird english let's see that yeah yeah actually i'm seeing somebody in the comments supporting me which is so true so it's really really easy to learn it's, it's not hard to learn um I think I think I'll continue waiting. I can just tell you random things I've learned about Swahili. So Swahili started off the coast of East Africa. Because if you didn't know, because of trading that happened with right before colonialism between Arabs and Africans. And, and the word Swahili actually means the coast, because that's how the Arabs used to refer to the, the Africans that spoke the language. And Swahili, while it might be from the interactions that the locals had with Arabs at the time, half of its half of it is more or less because of the languages that the natives spoke initially. So people at the coast married with Arabs and to find a way of talking to each other, Kiswahili was born. And then when we had missionaries, missionaries, Christians that are trying to bring the language more inland, that's how it really spread to the inside of the country, at least for Kenya, and that's why it ended up spreading all the way to Congo in the west, western side, and to the south. But yeah, I think most, most uh, coastal regions on the eastern side of the African map speak Swahili. Kiswahili spoken in Tanzania is the same as the one spoken in Kenya and Congo. I think the only thing that differs is because of the what I can say is the culture. You see, culture is so different because while I'm in Kenya, I can relate with some things from Tanzanians. There is a way Tanzanians have also formed they formed their language at that time based on their experiences. But I can understand a Tanzanian. A Tanzanian can understand me. Somebody from Congo speaking Kiswahili can understand me and can understand them. So it's one big thing. I hope that answers your question. If anyone has any more questions about Kisaili as a language that you can answer, as we wait for the next speaker, that will be nice. I think I can answer them. I'm not an expert, but I think I can. Okay, I see the guys who are online right now don't have any more questions, so I'm going to log off. I'm, I'm glad you guys had an amazing time, and if you're adventurous enough, you guys can learn Swahili online. I feel like there's some resources you can easily learn from. So all of you guys, have a, have a good night. I'm logging off right now. Oh, hi. Hi, ladies. Can everybody hear me? Um, so sorry about the long silence. Um, there were technical issues in the background all right, all right, all right. that so were affecting um, Linville yeah, well, yes. and Can any of you hear me?
I, I'd like to know in the chat if you can play me so we can proceed to the next session. Um, first of all, I'd like to say thank you to um, Loki and Sikolia. Thank you so much uh, for teaching us so much about Swahili, uh, uh, your, your country and your language. I I want to say I have learned a lot and it has been an amazing session having to listen to you talk about the people, the culture, the, um, the language and every other thing that you have taught us uh, in this um, session. Okay, uh, I'd just like to know, can anybody hear me? Uh, Okay, um, all right, uh, I hope you don't mind, I will have to leave my camera turned off as we wrap up the session. Okay, so we have come to the end of today's, um, today's Heritage Day, and as we have all learned, it has been an amazing, amazing session, and we have heard, uh, learned about different languages, different cultures and different um, languages that from all around Africa. Some of you have said you have uh, you enjoyed um, the Igbos, the Swahili. Some say they, they like um, the languages um, from, from different countries. Some say Ghana. Uh, it's a, it has been an amazing, amazing ride. And I, for one, would say one of the African languages I learned, I I kind of would say I like, I like basically is, I, I like to listen to like um the the Swahili actually, the South Africa, the one they did do with their tongue, uh, with a click, yes, it, 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 it's fun to listen to. So um, we'll come to a wrap of this session. Okay, we'll come to a wrap of the session and we'd like to say thank you so much for participating, ladies. Thank you so much for participating. And uh, this has been an amazing one for everyone. And um, we look forward to uh, the next next uh, Heritage Day, which will be coming up soon. And everyone will definitely uh, get an update on that of the next Heritage Day, as well as the next program. So. Um, just one thing, uh, we have one more event this week, which is on Friday. So I hope you, uh, everyone has received the uh, invite for the workshop. So I would like you ladies to um, make sure to be uh, available for the workshop. It's going to be fun, the workshop with uh, Jobberman. So let's make sure we are available and ready to learn, uh, improve ourselves, uh, learn the soft skills, and also how we could also to boost our portfolio and uh, make sure we have our, our tech skill is presentable for when we are done learning. All right, ladies, thank you so much. And this has been an amazing session, an amazing um, uh, event. Sorry for taking so much of your time. And we'll close the, draw the curtain here. Uh, thank you so much. And we love you from the very Google Sheep of Africa team. Thank you so much. Uh, I'd like to see your emojis. Uh, this is a wrap, <laughs> and we'll call it a day here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, King David. The session has was it's, it's yeah. Sorry, sorry for the noise in the background. But, uh, thank you, and then Jackson. I mean Jackson. Thank you. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, Candy. All right. Bye, ladies. This is a wrap of the session. Bye.